The Gaza Ministry of Health, which is part of the Hamas-run government, says the confirmed death toll has now reached 11,078 people. That includes 4,500 children. What the toll doesn't include, the ministry says, is people who are still buried under the rubble of buildings destroyed in Israeli airstrikes who haven't yet been identified. Israel disputes the ministry's figures, uh, but UN agencies and uh, other international organisations say they've previously been reliable and they continue to use them. Uh, the United States' top diplomat in the Middle East, Barbara Leaf, also told a US congressional committee that the death toll could be even higher than what's been being reported right now. And the US Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, uh, said after a meeting in India that too many Palestinians have died. Israel is aware of the criticism of the conduct of its campaign in Gaza uh, that began in response to horrendous Hamas terrorist attacks in Israeli border communities on October the 7th. Uh, it says its war is not with the people of Gaza. It says its war is with Hamas and that it is doing its best to minimise civilian casualties. It says that's difficult because Hamas has placed its equipment, infrastructure and oper operations bases uh, in civilian areas. It says Hamas is essentially hiding behind civilians. But in in light of this condemnation, Israel has made a couple of steps. Uh, it says it's been opening safe corridors uh, through which the UN estimates at least 120,000 people have evacuated the combat zone in Gaza City. And Israel says it's also facilitating the delivery of humanitarian supplies to ease condition for those people still trapped inside the combat zone.